one, what we're making today is one ton dumplings. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take one garlic clove. This is what I call a garlic clove. And we're going to take a root from our tree of ginger. What I call a tree of ginger is a ginger that, you know, you get it in the grocery store and it's got all kind of little roots going out. This is a tree. This is a tree. I just took half of the root and, um, and I've made, um, I have done maybe, let's see, this much. And I have a little bit left to mince. And then I have taken all of my garlic, the whole garlic clove. And this is what I have left. I want to show you this. I want to show you how, how to cut um, uh, garlic. If you will mash your garlic like this, like so, it will be so much easier to peel the backing off of it. Garlic is one of those things that you get aggravated with. So this, this is how you do it. If you will mash it just like this, and let me tell you what, this is so good to eat raw. Um, if you like raw gar garlic, if you mash it, there's so medicinal, uh, many medicinal purposes that you can use this for. Oh my gosh, it is so good. And we're going to mince it just like this. Just like I have done the rest of the garlic clove. The whole clove, the whole clove needs to be done. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this last part. I wanted to show y'all how to, um, how to do your garlic. And then we're going to put it over here. And what I call my little snow blower. People have made fun of me about this, but it's, it is my little snow blower. I took my little green part off of it. And then you have your ginger. The ginger is the same way. I just took part of a, part of the root from, from the tree, is what I call it, about this much. You're going to cut it up. You don't want too much ginger because ginger is very strong. So about, about this much is what you're wanting. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mince this up. And ginger is kind of hard to mince, so you have to hold it and uh, string it along. Until it's all chopped up. And then we're just going to rake it up on our little snow blower. <clears throat> then we're going to take our scallions. Our scallions. We want to make sure we separate the uh, the uh, white from the uh, the green. So we're going to cut it in half here, just like this. I'm going to put the green on to the side, and we're going to cut our white. Now I know I cut probably a lot more green, but if it's hard, then I consider it white. So we're going to cut all of our white up together. This is what I consider white. If it's hard, I consider it white. Okay? Then we're going to take our green, this is the green part, and we're going to mince this very and very little bitty, as small as you can get it without cutting your fingers. Don't cut your fingers. Okay, so you have, you have your green and you have your white. See that? Okay, so we have our garlic, we have our ginger, we have our white, and we have our um, we have our um, green. Now, if you want to chop this up smaller, you can do that. Um, I like mine as small as I can get it. And 
and that's the first part of this. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're grating our red um, cabbage, the four ounces of red cabbage. I already started grading mine. So I got just a little bit more to do to make four ounces. And then we'll move on to our carrots. Okay. Uh-oh. All right, so we've got four ounces of red, of red cabbage. And we're going to finish it up with our carrots. We're going to grate our carrots. I've grated most of my carrots. I just wanted to show you all you need four ounces. Four ounces of cabbage and four ounces of, car of carrots. And if I can do this, anybody can. I'm just, gonna, I'm just saying. I hate to grade, but sometimes you just have to do it. Okay? Make a mess, but there's nothing like, and I've already graded this, so I'm going to put this in here. So I've got four ounces, four ounces of cabbage and four ounces of red cabbage and four ounces of carrots in here. I'm going to add one tablespoon of vinegar. Mix it around. And I'm going to take a spoon, which I usually don't do, but I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to take one teaspoon of sugar one teaspoon of sugar and put it in here. And I'm going to use one teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna mix it together. <clears throat> Let it stay here. And then this goes, this sits to the side until we're done. The carrots are flying everywhere. We're just gonna put this over to the side and we're gonna leave it until we're done until we need it again. All right, in our next part, we're gonna make our filling for our wonton dumplings. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our ground pork, okay? And then um, we're going to add our sesame seed oil, one teaspoon, or tablespoon, I'm sorry, tablespoon of sesame seed oil, one tablespoon full of soy sauce, and we're going to take our spoon, like we did before, and we're going to do one teaspoon full of pepper and one teaspoon full of salt. It's going to go in there. And <clears throat> we're going to mix this together. Now, you can use whatever you want to. I like to use my hands, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to put all this together. And then we're going to add our scallions. We're only going to add the white. Mix it all together like this. My hands are better than anything else um, we could use. As long as your hands are clean, it's the best instrument you have to cook with, ladies, is your hands. With biscuits, cornbread, uh, chicken dressing, anything. Okay, and then we're gonna add only our whites of our scallions. That's it. We're gonna add that that we did earlier. Only the white. We're gonna mix that in. Okay, just like this. Make sure everything is mixed in really good. And the best way to do that is with your hands. And this is, this is such a good meal. And um, despite what you think, uh, everything that you're cooking right now is keto, except for the uh, wonton wrappers. And they have about two grams of carbs per wrapper. So if you're counting carbs, that's what you need to think about. Okay? Now, to me, mine is a little bit dry. So I'm going to take a little extra soy sauce. I'm going to put it over the top of mine. 
just a little bit, just, just a tiny little strip of it. I like mine to have plenty of soy sauce. And um, <clears throat> there wasn't enough for one pound, so I added just a little bit more to mine. You don't have to, but I like mine to be a little, uh, a little wet and not really dry. So there we go. And that's what you have. This is your stuffing for your own your wonton dumplings. Just like that. Okay, everybody, we added our ginger and we added our garlic that we chopped up into our meat. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of meat, just a pinch, like this, just a tiny pinch. Put it in here. And then we're going to add the, the, um, the carrots, the vinegar, the sugar, and the, uh, the uh, cabbage that we did. We're going to add just a little bit of that. You can use your hands. I do. Put it on here. Mix it together. And then we're going to take our water like this. And we're going to, I use my hands. And I just wet it on the outside. Fold it over like this. I always overstuff my wontons, and it's fine. If you do, it's fine. And you take your fork, you just do it like an apple pie. You just fold down the sides. If you need more water, use more water. There you go. It's like a paste. There you go. And there's our first one. It's like a little, it's like a little uh, wonton pie. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. We're gonna get it wet. Put a little bit. That's why this goes so far. And you can make lots of these. It's good for party favors, um, weddings, um, receptions, uh, any kind of parties. It's good for. And people love them. I've never made them that somebody didn't like them. But you know, I know I'm a uh, southern woman cook, uh, cook, and uh, I don't usually make things like that. But I've learned that as long as you do something different every day, and uh, you try to do something every day different, then um, it makes a difference in your life. I try to do something different every day, whether it be walk a different way or drive home a different way from work or um, talk to a friend I haven't talked to in a while. It, um, it matters because if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to keep getting what you're getting. And if you're getting, what, if you're getting something that uh, makes you happy, then you shouldn't change it. But if you're not happy with your life, then you should change what you're doing. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? And we just keep doing this over and over. Gonna wet. Gonna wet it. Make sure it's very wet so it um it does um I'm overstuffing mine. I'm gonna try to just do a little bit. I like to have a lot in mine. <clears throat> And your kids will love this. It's a good snack. Oh, it's a wonderful snack for you to take to work. There we go. See, I didn't overstuff it that time. And see how pretty it come out? See, it makes a difference if you don't overstuff it like I do. But I can't help it. See how pretty that is? And we're going to keep doing this um, until we have all of them done. I'm doing 12 today, and I'm going to have some left over, and I'm going to make this for, uh, uh, I'm going to make them, and then I'm going to freeze them and have them whenever I have a party next. You can freeze these uh, in your freezer. You make them up and freeze them. <clears throat> you can have them for any kind of event. Uh, you take them out, and you put them in a the microwave for about one and a half minutes, and you can use them anytime. So we're going to put these in our oil. 
So everybody, get, let's get our oil ready. Um, let's put it on medium high. And we're going to fill our pan up um, to um, probably about an inch of oil on the bottom part of our pan. Any kind of pan will work. Um, and I'm using olive oil. You can use any kind of oil you want. But you want about an inch of oil, about this much. You don't want it to cover your, your uh, dumplings. You just want to lay, uh, lay it right in the middle of it. So um, let's get over here and let's get to cooking them. Okay, guys, before we put it into our oil, what I like to do is I like to take um, fresh Parmesan cheese and grate it over my wontons. Just kind of grate it over there. Just get it all in there as much as you can on top of it. Woo! That looks so good. All right, they are ready. Let's put them in our oil that's getting ready. What, we, what we've done is um, we put our, um, our grease, or I used olive oil um, on, on mine, and I said about an inch, but I was a little off. I used about a quarter of an inch, um, and I have it on medium low. Uh, you can do it on medium high, but you're only going to cook these for one minute on each side to start with. I started on mine, so you just drop them in to your grease. I do about three or four at a time. Cover them up. You cook them for one minute on each side. One minute, about the time it's going to take us to make our sauce. Do not forget to turn it while you're making your sauce. So we're going to cook these one minute on each side. And then we're going to start on our sauce. About one minute. Some of these are really tiny, so um, I'm turning mine over a little, a little earlier. One minute. And then we'll go over here and we'll make our, um, our sauce while we cook these. And um, then we'll come back and we'll do the second part to it. All right, <clears throat> we're going to make our sauce while our wonton dumplings are cooking over here. We're going to do one minute on each side. Um, and while it's doing that, we're going to make our sauce. Make sure you keep an eye on your, um, your wrappers. One minute on each side. We're going to add one tablespoon full of soy sauce to our green part of our scallions. Remember, we used the white part and we had a green part left over. So this is the green part of our scallions. We're going to add one tablespoon full of um, soy sauce, one teaspoon full of salt, mix that together, one tablespoon full of sugar, whisk that around, one teaspoon full of pepper, whisk that around, and we're going to use a full tablespoon full of sesame seed oil. Make sure you get all that sesame seed oil in there. And we're going to whisk that around for about one minute, as long as it takes for the wontons to be turned over. We're going to whisk that around. Whisk it kind of hard. So you get all them flavors in there. Oh, that's so good. Oh my goodness. It's a good dumpling sauce. Okay. All right, get over there and turn them wontons over. All right, everybody, this is the last of them. We're taking the rest of our um, wonton dumplings out. Got everything done. Now what you wanna do at this point is you wanna add a half a cup of water. You want to take all of your dumplings out and let them drain on a napkin like I did. And you have just a little bit of grease left. And we're going to add a half a cup of water. Make sure you have your cover because it's going to sizzle. You're going to cover it up. You're going to let it sit for one minute over the eye before you add your dumplings back to it. 
Don't change the eye, just leave it at medium uh, low or medium high, however your uh, stove is cooking them. Everybody's stove is different. So mine is on medium high, I mean medium low, right in the middle. And I'm gonna leave it here for about one minute. And then we're gonna add our dumplings back into it for five minutes with a half a cup of water. Okay, so my water has been sizzling for, um, for a minute. So I'm gonna add my dumplings back in here to the half a cup of water that I did with, with the oil that I had left over from my dumplings. We're gonna add them back in here. Make sure they're separated and not, uh, and not crowded. Even if you have to do it twice, don't crowd your dumplings. Kinda like that, don't crowd them. So I've got some left over. Then you wanna cover them and you wanna let this sit here and steam for five minutes. So we're gonna set our timer for five minutes and in five minutes, they'll be done. Okay, our, our um, countdown for five minutes has just gone off. So we're gonna take these babies out. I'm gonna lay them over here to the side. Well, these are gonna be good, so good. I don't wanna scratch my thing, so I'm gonna use this one instead of the. Well, they look so good. Oh my goodness, they look so good. These are called one ton dumplings, and they are amazing. And I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna have to add some more water to mine uh, to fix the rest of mine. Gonna add them here. And add just a little bit of water. I think I got enough water, so I'm just gonna put them on here for another five minutes. I think I got enough water. If you don't, you can add a little bit, but remember, you need to steam your water for at least one minute before you add your dumplings. If uh, you don't have enough water, I think I do. I still have plenty of water in mine. So I'm gonna set my timer for another five minutes uh, <clears throat> and finish mine. Well, let's try one of these. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my dumpling. I'm gonna put it in our sauce we made. Oh my goodness. That is delicious. That is so good. <clears throat> that is so good. And remember that um, if you're trying to lose weight on you know, a keto diet, these are very filling. Uh, you can eat maybe three or four of these and um, you'll be full and you've probably gained five carbs so, um, and they're good for lunch, they're good, you, they're good cold, you can warm them up anytime you want to, and your kids will love them. So, I'm so glad that I got to share this with you guys today, and um, please share, like, and follow me um, with this video or any other video that I've had. I appreciate everybody who has supported me, and um, thank you so much for, um, for coming and watching this video with Cooking with Gina Bug. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching Cooking with Gina Bug. Remember to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes.